And just think it was job done, really. I thought he was disappointing by both sides. He just came out with a point that West Ham's a long way to travel and not have a shot on target. You know, it's FA Cup football, you've got to you got to have a go. Uh, your form's good in the league. Go and enjoy it. But they did, they did miss, uh, you got to say, An Antonio up front, they missed him. You have to try and get a centre forward. There wasn't really a forward there. But it was just disappointing. Even Manchester United, you take their goal away. That was it, four shots on target with them. Without the goal, did they look like they are going to sh score? Cavani came on. Uh, Fernandez came on. Just that spark, it wasn't there. The game, you have to be brutally honest, it wasn't really a classic. But... Manchester United are through to the quarter-finals and that's all they'll be thinking about. But they have to do better if they're going to go on and win it. Instead of asking you who you are more impressed by, who are you more disappointed by tonight? What, you mean at like the two teams? Mm. Both, if I'm really honest with you. You know, you, you, you look at Solskjaer, fantastic in the league. West Ham doing well in the league. You know, you need a trophy. You need to. This is all getting in that winning habit. This is all. And all of a sudden, you come up to the FA Cup, and uh, you've got to. You've got to do better. It was. It wasn't a good performance at all by both sides. West Ham defended, but it's what you, you get a decision tonight. You've got to win a game of football. You've got to create situations. You've got to move the ball around. You've got to be a little bit more hungry. And I would say the same about Manchester United at home. Uh, got, got to get, got to do better than that. You know, you have to get used to. We know how good you are on the counter attack. We know you're fantastic, but when you, when, when there's teams uh, get everyone behind the ball, you've got to do better to create situations to get round the back. The movement's got to be better. They've got to zip the ball around. There wasn't enough of that. It was lethargic. It was slow. The majority of the players, and I think everyone in the stand just went like when the goal went in from Matomi. Thank, oh, wonderful. Thank you. That's <laughs> happened. We've not got to bother trying. Then it was that type of thing, you know. It was no one was grabbed, no one was taking the game, and it's not about Fernandez all the time, you know. They have to get other players. What, what, what go and do it? Don't get me wrong. Wonderful goal. He took it perfectly. It came to him. If he took another touch, the, the opportunity would have gone. It was it, straight away. It came, and it was it was a snapshot. And here it is. On 98 minutes, Scott McTominay on as a sub at the start of extra time. Perhaps that's what they needed. It was, yeah. You know, that's what it will be. What we like to see there is there's plenty of red shirts going forward, but this was the difference. This was what the game was all about, just this chance, and he took it well. He, got, he, he came on as a substitute, uh, and you can obviously say he made the difference. But look at the red shirts there. That is what Manchester United are good at when all of a sudden you, they catch a team out and hit them on the counter attack because they have the pace and they have players in the box. But it was all about the finish when it came to him. You know, you could, uh, you could just take it that fraction late and it would be too late. He just comes onto it and he captures it absolutely inch perfect. And you've got to say as well, Fabianski, the goalkeeper, pulled off some great mm. saves. Uh, and I tell you what, you know when you're, all, you're always struggling when your man of the match is a goalkeeper. And I don't say that disrespectfully. Nothing at all going forward. Uh, ben Rama, I looked at his body language for West Ham and I thought it was, a, it was awful. Kept giving the ball away. Couldn't track back. You know, the, these players are big players for, for their teams and they've got to do more there. It was, a, it was a disappointing game of football, to be honest with you, but Manchester United are through at the quarterfinals and they will do better. Well, let's get some reaction from Old Trafford. Harry Maguire is with Matt Critchley. Harry, well done. That was a, a real battle for you tonight. Did you, well, could you have done without extra time? Well, I felt like in, in, in the 90 minutes we deserved to win the game, um, especially first half. I felt like we dominated the game. We played the game in their half. We created chances. Um, they had a little spell after half time where they had a little bit more possession and we found our feet again in extra time. Um, when you get to the 80 minutes, you obviously want to win the game in normal time, but you've also got in the back of the me your mind that you can't just go gung-go and, um, and, and try and throw everybody forward because another 30 minutes to play and we felt like we, we, we was confident enough to, to play them 30 minutes. We, 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 we feel fit and, and ready and mentally ready and we, we, we felt confident that we can win the game in extra time, so it was important that we did that. And Scott seems to have really found the goal-scoring touch this season. Yeah, it's, um, well, I think he used to be a striker when he was a young lad, so he's, he's, he's good in finishing and training. Um, he's good in five sides. He's always popping up with the goal, so it's important that he starts chipping in, and I'm sure he'll be pleased with, especially at Old Trafford, he seems to keep scoring at Old Trafford, so I'm sure he'll be pleased with that. Um, it was an important goal for us. Like I say, after the dis disappointment of Saturday night, we, we needed to come into this game and make sure that we go through, and, and we've done that, and we're hitting the hat, and, and that's what matters. I think it's fair to say West Ham had limited chances tonight. Were you happy with 
defensively how you, how you got on? Yeah, for sure. I think we, we owed it the team, especially as a defensive unit, to, to, to put on a good, solid display because we've kept a lot of clean sheets at Old Trafford, but every time we concede, we're conceding two, three goals here. So it's not good enough. Um, conceding three, for, for example, Saturday night, it's not good enough, especially as a defender. We, we take pride in that. Um, so we, we, we're so disappointed with the result, first and foremost, but to concede three is very disappointing. So we, we knew we had to put on a good display to, tonight to nullify their threats, which is crosses and long balls and, and things like that. So I felt like we dealt with it really well and it was an important part of, of getting the victory and going through to the next round. Yeah, through to the quarterfinals now. Do you think a trophy for the club this season is, is vitally important? Of course. It's important every season you play for this club. You need to win trophies. Um, Obviously, last year we got to numerous semi-finals. Uh, we fell at that stage every time. We, I'm sure we've learnt from it. We've got experience from it. We're, we're a much better side than what we was last year. Um, but for sure, we've got to start taking that next step. You've got to win trophies when you play for Manchester United. So, of course, it's vital. Thanks, Harry. Thank you. Old evening, but you got the job done in the end. What are your thoughts on your team's performance? Uh, I felt we we dominated. Uh, felt in complete control in the first half. Second half, it became more of a game and. Uh, you know, when it's only 1-0 and we're wasteful in the other end and we don't score the goals, you, you, anything can happen towards, we knew that uh, from uh, last game. So it was just about finishing the game off and you, after the, we scored the first one, but we couldn't. But we're through, we're in the hat and that's what mat matters. Another substitute coming on and making an impact just like in the last round as well. Yeah. Seven goals for the season now yeah. for Scott McTominay. Having yeah. someone in that kind of goal scoring midfield, uh, a goal scoring midfielder must be really useful to have in your armoury. Of course it is. Scotty used to be a striker before when he was a little kid. And I think he finishes with authority and that's, that's it's clinical. <laughs> and you, you see that he doesn't mind being in those positions. And that's what I want to see more from uh, the, rest, the rest of us because some of the finishing is a bit side footy and a bit... Nah, I just burst the ball in, into the net so uh, we need to uh, learn of him Is that something you're looking to work on because you'd have plenty of chances yeah. tonight didn't you being more clinical I think we got about between 15 and 17 shots in the end and you, we need to be more clinical definitely and uh, we should have uh, finished the game off earlier we should have maybe finished it off in, uh, in 90 minutes but then again it doesn't happen so good attitude uh, good fitness we're strong and uh, we felt felt that we dominated, but you're never in control against a team with the players like Dawson, Zusek, uh, on set pieces, because anything can happen. We just spoke to Harry and he said it says a lot about the mentality of the team, the fact that they bounced back, ground out this result, especially what, given what happens at the weekend. Yeah, we needed to uh, have a good result and a good uh, feeling after, after today, because we were low after uh, the Everton game. Of course we were, because when you concede in the 95th minute, it's, it's hard to take but they've been focused and uh, done the job. Another quarter-final. I know you were keen to kind of quash some of the expectation around this group after the Everton game, but you must enjoy being in these conversations. Of course, yeah. No, it's, it's not about quashing the expectations. It's about... Uh, uh, yeah, what do you? Uh, sometimes you, you say things, you know, to uh, to help the boys. Of course, we want to win every game. We want to push on and and challenge, and we want to go to the final. Of course, we do. And win titles as well. Of course, we do. <laughs> that's that's what we're here at Man United for. But then again, we've got to take step by step. Uh, sometimes you're lucky with draws in the cup. We haven't been lucky at all. Um, hopefully. Um, we can move another step closer to the final. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Cheers. See you in the next Thank round. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> hmm. For all the criticism that he always gets and for all these results, we often talk about poor performances, poor attitude. How are United still winning games? Well, well there's obviously quality there. You know, it's not, there is quality and there's been a lot of money spent on the team as well. So you, you would expect that. Uh, but it's a bit of a roller coaster ride throughout the season. Do I think Ollie's doing a good job? Yeah, of course I do. Do I think they can finish? Could, do I think they can put a title challenge on in the league? Yes. Do I think finishing second is a possibility? Yes, that's a, that's a positive. But he keeps talking about this slowly. It's, you know, the owners must have a look and just think, well, hang on a minute, when is the time right? I look at them, me now, and I can, only, I can only go across when I used to play against them. And you didn't stand a chance when you went to Old Trafford. It was like a mountain to, 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 to climb. It was huge. They were powerful. They were strong. And they're nowhere near anything like that. 
I just don't see that, you know, and I look, we look over here now at the moment, we've got Bayern Munich playing, it's a winning formula. So I'm not saying you're Manchester United and it's trophies and all, it's that, it's that single-minded drive. Once that comes into their game, which, they, which they've got, you know, and that just walking through, uh, walking through opponents, I just don't see that at the moment. I think they're a little bit of a soft touch. I think they give you an opportunity, which I never had that at all when, when, when I went there with the team. Uh, and I think you have a chance. I think if West Ham had a little bit of something about them, they could have possibly got something out of the game. Uh, but the, Manchester United got through it tonight. It was a difficult game. They made it difficult because they, didn't see, they, 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 they couldn't break West Ham down. So that was their own fault for that, really. But eventually they've, they've done the job. You know, and it is positive and it is better than what it was, but it's still a long way away from me. Elsewhere tonight at Turf Moor, Bournemouth.